Well, I'm Tim Bonner, and I uh, wanted to talk about my faith today. Uh, to me, faith is difficult to talk about because, well, it's talking about the unseen. The debate about science and religion comes in. Uh, I don't see those two as incompatible, but we'll brush off any discussion of their contrast with just saying I think there is uh, a lot about both of them. But there's more that we don't know about them than what we do know. Um, so the minute we're left with the mystery of faith. I'll take this opportunity to share with you a story uh, from my life uh, that some of you have already heard if you were in church on January 1st, 2017, uh, when I gave the sermon, my first sermon at First Baptist Lawrence, uh, that included this story. I had to include it. Uh, it is on the Facebook page, but you have to scroll down under videos to the very bottom uh, three years ago. The title is We Sojourn Toward the Light. But this was from my childhood. And uh, first I'll say that I learned more, I virtually learned everything about faith at church uh, rather than at home because my parents never went to church, never went to church. Uh, so that they sent my brother, my older brother, myself, uh, starting when I was five, that we weren't regular attenders until I was eight and we moved to a place where the church was 300 yards away, so there were no excuses. We got ourselves there. Uh, every Sunday, became pretty uh, uh, adamant Bible readers even, um, and uh, acquired faith that, uh, frankly, I probably had, well, I know I had little understanding of then. I may have a little bit of understanding now, but I'll tell you about my experience. Um, it's 1961, and there was a lot of talk about nuclear war, uh, both at my school, uh, we already had uh, nuclear attack drills, the getting under your desk thing. Uh, and also, my pastor at the church was preaching uh, the gospel according to the to Hal Lindsey, who was the author of The Great Late Planet Earth, which is about the doomsday nuclear holocaust being the uh, second coming of Christ. And so that was going to happen uh, soon, uh, according to them. It was soon after I heard that storm and it st that sermon, and uh, I was in my bedroom one night, and there was a storm. Uh, well, there was a lot of thunder, and uh, which scared me. And I went outside and looked, and the uh, clouds, the huge clouds, were flashing with light. It turned them blood red, orange, and yellow, uh, but it wasn't raining where I was. So I was convinced that the nuclear war had begun and that those flashes were the uh, nuclear bombs hitting Wichita 100 miles to the west. Uh, I was uh, very frightened. I was 10 years old, scared out of my wits. Uh, so I went back to my bedroom where I was alone, and I prayed as if my life depended on it. Uh, and uh, what happened was, all of a sudden, everything was just white, bright light. That's all I could see, white, bright light. And I had the, the, the warmest, most loving feeling that I've ever had in my life, uh, and uh, which calmed me soothed me, uh, and I frankly can't say really how long it lasted, because I soon went to sleep. I slept through the night and never spoke of that to anyone for the next 30 years. Uh, I, I uh, In my 10-year-old mind, I had this idea that that special experience meant that I was going to be a preacher, but my life didn't turn in that direction as I entered adolescence and, and on. And more recently uh, answered that call here as a late adult in late adulthood. Uh, but that experience of mine uh, proved to me that faith was real, God was real, uh, the spirit is real, which means there's more than 
meets the eye in this world, uh, and that the values of the world, wealth, social status, are fake values. That the truth is in the light and message of Jesus Christ. Um, and with that, and our church helps us with that. And I really believe and uh, find that I, we need the weekly, weekly reminders, uh, sometimes more often than that, uh, to, to remember that and to keep enacting and living our faith.